Hey guys, it's Maggie from Young Caregivers Association with another experiment. Um, just before we get started, I'm just going to ask that you guys make sure that you're in a space that's safe, um, that you're not going to get anything in your eyes. Make sure that you have an adult around you if you need an adult to help with some of the things that we're going to be doing today. Um, there is some rubbing alcohol involved, so just to make sure that you're either wearing gloves, um, you have something to protect your eyes, or you have um, a family member there helping you. All right, guys, so the experiment we got for you today is a rainbow emotions jar. So you can use materials just from home, just like last week, um, so don't worry there. Um, you're going to need some olive oil, some blue dish soap, some corn syrup. If you don't have corn syrup at home, um, honey works just as well some rubbing alcohol, a glass of water, which I'll be using near the end, and your food coloring. So you're gonna need these colors if you have them. The first layer we got is gonna be purple, all right? So you're gonna wanna take your blue food coloring and your red food coloring and put one drop of each in the bottom of your jar. I've already gone ahead and done it. And then you're gonna wanna take your corn syrup or your honey, okay? and you're gonna just wanna pour it in. I'm gonna use about half a cup. If you want, use measuring cups. I have some here just in case. Um, so keep them close in case you wanna do um, precise measurements, okay? So you're gonna wanna put it in as close to the middle as you can. And when you're ready to stop, you can just take it right out. And you need to find a stirring utensil to use to stir it up as well. All right, so after you've added the cornstarch and the food coloring, it should look something like this. All right, so I'm gonna associate purple with excitement. I'm excited to be recording this video with you guys. Um, it was, it's something that I've been looking forward to all week, so that's what I'm associating purple with today. All right, guys, your next layer is gonna be blue. So you guessed right, you're gonna be using your blue dish soap, and you're gonna to wanna to use about the same measurements, all right? So once you put it in, it's gonna be about the same thickness as your purple. If you're feeling a little bit more of your blue emotion, you can put a little bit more. If you're feeling a little bit less of your blue emotion, you can put a little less. It's completely up to you. All right, guys, so once you're done with the dish soap, it should look a little bit like this, all right? So again, it's just resting right on top of the other one, and you can see distinctly my purple and my blue emotion. All right, guys, so the next layer is our green layer, and this is where we're gonna be using our water, okay? This is where you might need um, a family member or somebody um, to help you along with this. And this is where you might want to use a measuring cup as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to use our food coloring, our green food coloring, and put a couple of drops into our measuring cup, okay? Depends on how green you want it. Um, it really doesn't matter how many drops you put in it as long as there's a little bit of green in there. Um, and then you're going to pour your water um, into the green, okay? Once you get your water into the um, measuring cup, you're gonna very slowly put it into your jar, okay? It's important that you do it very slowly and very carefully. All right, guys, so once you've slowly put your green into your jar, it's gonna look a little bit like this. I put a little bit more green in my jar because I'm extra happy today. The sun is shining, I'm able to go outside and do something fun today, and so I'm feeling really happy and awesome today. All right, well, after you put your green into your jar, you're gonna to wanna to wait a couple minutes in, um, before you start working on your yellow layer, okay? And that's where the olive oil comes in. Now, the olive oil is already yellow, so you don't have to worry um, about making it another color um, because that's the layer that's supposed to go next is the yellow layer. So uh, don't worry about that, all right, guys? I wanna hear, though, what you use for your emotions. So comment below, um, take a picture of your jar at the end, and let us know um, what kind of emotions you were feeling today. All right, and last but not least is our red layer. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is take your rubbing alcohol and you're going to want to put a couple of drops of just the red food coloring into a measuring cup or any cup um, at all. No worries about that. And then you're gonna to wanna to mix in your rubbing alcohol with that, okay? All right, once your red is all mixed up, you're gonna to wanna to put it into your jar, but you need to make sure that this layer is the most careful you've been yet. So if you have a funneling tool, um, that's the best method. I don't have one at home, but so I'm just gonna use the little method where you tilt it and pour it in. I'm also gonna do it off camera because I don't trust myself on camera. So let's see how it goes. All right, guys. So as you can see, I was careful, but I wasn't careful enough. So mine did go underneath my oil and that's completely fine. Do not be discouraged. 
If your top layer moves to the bottom, that's completely fine. It just means that your water and, or your rubbing alcohol is a little less dense um, than your oil. So do not be discouraged if that happens because you can still always see all the clear layers and all your clear motions that you've picked out for you, okay? All right, guys, there you have it. You have your rainbow emotions jar. I wanna see how all yours turn out, okay? I can't wait to hear about them. I can't wait to see them. And I hope you guys stay safe and healthy.